Coming off a career high 18 for the Wolfpack. A.J. West is a shot blocking and rebounding machine. On the other side, Christian Wood, 10th in the country in terms of double doubles. He's got eight here on the season. High flyers all over the place and a couple of very young teams. As we are set to tip here, and David Carter, 94 and 83. Sixth all time in wins at the school, two and five all time against UNLV. And Dave Rice on the other side, fourth season here in Vegas, 80 and 37. You see his record against Nevada. They've got the number nine strength of schedule in the country, which is what we led this telecast with. It is certainly telling. Vern Harris, Tony Padilla, Tom O'Neill. Number of games those three men as they team up tonight have officiated to begin this evening. Set to do it here at the Thomas and Mack Center. In the Mountain West, game number two for both of these teams. And the opening possession to the running Rebels. The guy with the ball, Cody Doolin, leads the conference in assists. He's got the best assist to turnover ratio on the team. He is fun to watch. A senior from Austin, Texas, Westlake High School. People will know Nick Foles and, uh, and Drew Brees, of course, and also Major League closer Houston Street. And Doolin has had a nice college career transferring from the University of San Francisco. Good luck, Coconobo. Dropped it down, and the shot locked underneath and tapped out and controlled by the Wolfpack. Their first touch of the game. And a shot underneath too deep that time is Coleman. Out of bounds to UNLV. Well, we have two possessions and we have two blocks already in the game. I'll tell you what, UNLV had great blocking last year with Ken Birch and Roscoe Smith, and they are not bad this year either with Wood and Okinobo. Number four in the country in blocks, UNLV. Follow a shot too short from Rashad Vaughn, the preseason freshman of the year in the Mountain West. Also leads the league in scoring already at 17 points a game. Up in the air and two shots coming up for DJ Fenner, a sophomore from Seattle. Nine double figure games on the season. DJ's a guy who averaged only two and a half points per game last year. And you can see his numbers this year, a dramatic increase. And part of that is because they had this guy named Deontay Burton last year at Nevada, who was a phenomenal guard scorer. So he has taken up that slack. He and Marquis, sorry, Brent, but he and Marquis Coleman are the two guys that are the go-to players on this team, number one and number 15 for Nevada. Fenner coming off a 17-point game and a win over Air Force. It's both free throws. He now is 35 for his last 37 at the stripe, but it's 2-0 Wolfpack. Yikes, that's pretty good. 80% for the season. Wood can shoot from out there, even though he's 6'11". Whoa! Tucks it instead. Get out of here! Man, that is some long strides. He went from the corner to the basket. Woo! Christian Wood, will he go pro next year? He's got all the makings of a guy that could go. He's in his sophomore season from Palmdale, California. Here comes Robin Mesa, face up, way off. Tapped and controlled by Cody Doolin. Wood, Ken to the rim. Dropped it in, broken elbow. Got him too deep, the tap on by Christian Wood. And he's got the first four for UNLP. Long, 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 long arms by Mr. Wood. Eight double doubles, number one of the conference in rebounding, number one of the conference in blocks. A shot is off from Fenner, one and done for the Wolfpack. They don't lose many games in this building. Open elbow. He alley -oop. Wasn't pretty on the business end, but able to finish anyway. Freshman Okanobo from just outside of Boston, Mass. Having some issues here with the clock. Two and a half minutes deep. It's 6-2 Rebels. Ten a double pump. Banks it off. No. West with the tap. And foul as he went back up on the faller. Shot Vaughn picks up the foul. And that's his second. 
Well, West is a six foot nine inch player who's going to the free throw line right now. Had a heel injury in this one game this year. He's from Brooklyn, second year playing. He's a junior college guy. Average about seven points and seven rebounds last year. Those numbers are up. 11 points, nine rebounds this season. And he is a force defensively. Great timing. This is what he's looking at when he's shooting a free throw. That'll make you dizzy. Good crowd here at the Thomas and Matt. Late start. Eight local. 11 for our friends back east. A.J. West knocks it in. The junior from Brooklyn. Over his last three, West averaging 15 points and 10 boards. 6-4 Rebels, three minutes in. Jelani Kendrick, too strong, follow no from Mokonobo. And here comes the battle. Baseline, Michael Perez. Misa had a puck from behind by Wood. Watch him lead the break. Four on two. Tulin wins it in. How about a roll reversal right there? Unbelievable. The big man addition to the point guard. Pata has struggled much of the season offensively. Perez on a three. It's off. Three pound Misa. Until the last three games, all wins, and they've averaged more than 80 per game in terms of points during this streak. Lesser competition, however, in those three games than previous. Patrick McCaw, the freshman, is in the game. Box again, Okanobo. Three pointer too strong from Misa. Ball pounding UNLV is Okanobo. Good luck is a demon on the boards. Not much of a scorer, man, but he can play close to the hoop. <laughs> Doolin can dish. 67 assists. How about that? Kendrick got it back. Beach Wood stripped away. Good D by Fenner. Three on two. Perez. But too high that time. It's goaltending counted eight six. Bob, did you say something early on in this game about <laughs> high flyers and blocks? I'm telling you, Mr. Wood can take. They gave KU way more than they wanted at Allen Fieldhouse Sunday. He had 12.8 rebounds. You mentioned against Arizona, 24 and 10. The defense is there so far. One for eight on the Wolfpack. Here comes McCall. Good LB goes eight deep, and he rifles that into the front row. Well, they got two point guards in the game. McCaw is a 6'6 point guard. He's in with Doolin. Both of them are point guards. McCaw is a freshman. This is a heralded freshman class at UNLV. Eric Cooper Jr. off the Nevada bench. He's got it here. Freshman from Long Beach, California. Cooper had it blocked. That's the third block already for the Rebels. Good judgment. Double pump reverse layup won't go. West clears for Nevada. They got numbers right here. Fenner thought about it. Baseline leaves it off and a dunk underneath for Ronnie Stevens. They got some depth. They'll go to nine, ten guys. They've got four guys that are bigs that can play the four and five spot. Tied at eight after a quick start for UNLV in this game. Rashad Vaughn is on the bench for Mountain West and UNLV's leading scorer at practice today. It looked like he was a little sick to me. And, uh, you know, we were watching him. He didn't look confident in his shot. The shot was off a little bit. And uh, right now he's smiling over there. And uh, But he is a big part of this team. Preseason freshman of the year. Very, very talented freshman. He was dealing with illness over the weekend in the KU game, and he's on there with two early fouls. That's the biggest reason he's sitting right now. Wood puts it on the deck. And every time he does that, get ready. Sophomore from Palmdale, California, 10th in the country in double doubles. 
And the Mountain West Player of the Week last week. And West went up that time to contend. Two shots. And Bob, you said it earlier. He's he got a guard him out in the three-point arc as well as Jordan Cornish checks in. He's had games this year where he's four of six from three-point range. I mean, you know, this guy can make him from the outside. But with Vaughn on the bench, that changes a lot for UNLV. They're not a deep team to begin with. So Cornish is going to get some time, as is Dwayne Morgan. Highly heralded freshman, both of these two guys. But both of them about five points per game. They're going to get an opportunity here. It's a top five recruiting class in the country, UNLV. And that's something in this day and age where Kentucky dominates and Duke dominates. They are really have done a great job recruiting. Fenner off the bounds. And he's fouled on the floor. You know, last year, UNLV, they lost all five of their starters. You know, Birch and Roscoe Smith are gone playing professional basketball. E. John Jones uh, transferred to Iowa State. Bell Smith transferred. So, I mean, this is a whole new ball game. And a knockdown from the perimeter. Finally, DJ Fenner connects, and we're tied at 10. We talked to David Carter. They had issues early in the year with their offense, and he feels like they're understanding what good shots are now. They didn't understand that early in the year. Here's Cornish on the drive, floats it up, tapped in. Dwayne Morgan, freshman from Baltimore. Two freshmen combining on that one. Morgan the big, Cornish the middle-sized guy. Cornish has great numbers. He's an accurate shooter. And a big body at 6'6". Cooper goes to work and travel. If you switch your pivot feet, you could get it by these guys. And I know you're a track guy. <laughs> but if you can switch your pivot feet, you're impossible to guard. Cooper complaining. That's legal out on the playground, but not in a real game. That had lost eight in a row. You talked about the struggles offensively and during that stretch They didn't score more than 60 in a single game and now three in a row You mentioned competition hasn't been as good But the confidence coming into conference play and then getting an 18 point win against Air Force To open Mountain West action is dueling misfires Offensive rebound and the Rebels pump the brakes the biggest thing you said right there was the word confidence because when you get that confidence even against good teams you feel better and you, you're you're liable to score more now they're going against the terrific defensive team here in UNLV they guard the three really well carry and another UNLV turnover is look at the frown Tulin. when's the last time you saw a carry call I haven't seen one in six no, years no. At least. Take a look at this. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like he should play for Gonzaga with that long hair. <laughs> yeah, well, close. He played for San Francisco up until this year. Luke Perez, reverse. You bet. There is confidence, and you can see it in their step out here. And it's tough so far. Intrastate rival. They called the covers series. And Nevada swept both meetings last season. Cornish goes hard to the floor, and he was the last to touch it. Tied at 12 at the under 12 in Las Vegas. Per game, they've got three so far tonight, and he's got a couple of them. See the field goal numbers early on, four of 12 for Nevada. They are down four on the glass. Vaughn is back in the game, number one defending. Underneath, tough shot. Yeah, travel. Intimidation, my friend. When you get it that close and you travel, they are aware of the shot blocking reputation of the running rebels for sure. I'm interested in watching Vaughn right here now, Brent. You know, he went to the bench, two fouls. He was a little ill, as you uh, talked about in the, in the Kansas game. Let's see what his energy looks like. Wood inside. And tracked down by Nevada. This is Marquise Coleman, 11 points per game, 10 double-figure games. Caleb Rodriguez rotates to Chriswell. Tyron Chriswell off the bench. Stevens turnaround and scores.
boost his body. Get your body into the shot blocker. If you put your body on wood, unlikely he'll be able to block the shot. Wood to the rim and the foul. Morgan, I should say, to Wayne Morgan, the freshman. And in the short time he's been out there in this first half, impressive. He averages five points a game. He's a six foot eight post player. They love the drive from the top of the key because there's no help coming in that situation. Now Wood to the bench here gets a seat. Morgan being attended to. You know, I said that because Wood has done it about three times. Take it at the top. Take about yes. two steps, two dribbles, and to the rim. It's and that time we saw it from Morgan is just a little bit shorter. It's part of their offense. And the reason that the drive from the top of the key is better than the drive from the sides of the court is there's no help side defense when the ball's in the middle of the floor. The ball's out on the wing. The people on the other side of the floor are clogging the lane. Three-point play for Morgan, a 68% foul shooter. And it's 15-14, running Rebels, as we approach the midpoint of this first half. Chris Webb. Off the mark and out of bounds. And it's UNLP basketball. Frequent substitutions have been the order of the day for both teams so far. Nevada is a slightly deeper team in the front court for David Carter, who's in his sixth year there. Also was an assistant for 10 years with Trent Johnson and Mark Fox. There's another drop. Same, same, same thing, right, Trent? Get the ball at the top of the key, clear an area, and there is Mr. Vaughn with a smile on his face. You know, we know about Okafer, we know about the Kentucky guys. Here's a freshman that's very, very highly thought of in all quarters. Fenner. Now West. Wheels in the lane. Here's Rashad Vaughn on the three. Short. And he's yet to find his rhythm. Nevada has it down three. Bob was available on that play. Assistant coach right now is jotting that down on the bench to tell the head coach, let's run that later. Turning the corner and misfiring is Fenner. Pat Godno from West. Meese with the double pump and score. Young man from Germany right there is after it. He's a very skillful player. The one thing that happens sometimes when you're a great shot blocking team, everybody wants to get into the action. That time, two guys went for the shot block, and therefore, the Nevada player was clear on the offensive glass. Morgan off the mark. Nevada with a chance to reclaim the lead. So far, so good for the Wolfpack. They maintain their poise, and they're playing with confidence. Perez left it short that time. Now Doolin down the lane with the left and draws the bump. As Perez picks up his first. Doolin can deal. And right here he goes strong. Look how he uses his body, puts the ball way in his left hand and his body between the ball and the defender so the shot can't be blocked. Seven points a game, 52% from the field. Well, the Doug Gottlieb Show is fast-paced, always opinionated. Get to know Gottlieb face-to-face -face with the Doug Gottlieb Show, weekdays 3 Eastern on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Coming into this game, Doolin had 67 assists and 21 turnovers. That's the best turnover assist turnover ratio in the Mountain West. In and out for Vaughn, we see so far, huh? Playing a few minutes and going in and out. Coleman with a tough shot at short. West battles for it. Fires it out. Perez wants it. Not this time. West back up and in. 
Nice positioning by AJ. He pushed good luck right underneath the basket. You don't get any good rebounds when your head's under the basket, only if the ball goes to the net. Imagine for Nevada here, Bob. They lost eight straight games, but if somehow could pull off the upset on the road and start 2 0 in the Mountain West, how quickly everything changes. No doubt about it. Dual in the corner. No. Yes! Okanova! He got pushed at one end and they did some damage at the other. They are exciting to watch. You got that right. Nice to the back down. Ducks under. Missed it. Tap. No. West fighting. No. So many shots underneath at the rim. They get the steal and then Fenner gets blocked by McCaw. Two or three clearly in the Mountain West. Air Force battled really hard to get to within two late in that game in their matchup against San Diego State. When they face Nevada, the Woodcock able to clamp down in that second half and get an 18 point win to their conference opener. And now Coleman gets right to the rim. Well, the issue for Nevada has not been the defense. They have been very consistent defensively throughout the entire non conference season. The problems have been at the offensive end of the floor, and they seem to be doing better there, especially in the last several games. UNLV's Jalon Kendrick, a senior from College Park, Georgia. Quarter three, over look McCaw, no. Tulin fighting for it, and a run out for Coleman with numbers. And again, couldn't finish at the rim. Get the ball down the floor before the shot blockers can get there. And that's what's happening right now for David Carter's team. They are mixing up the break and the half court stuff very well. And right here, get down the floor quickly. Push it hard. None of the big guys are there, so you can get it. Kendrick picked up the foul, his first, and now officials are taking some time here before the inbound. UNLV by one. Just only six to play here in this first half from Las Vegas. It's Wednesday showcase. Here on CBS Sports Network, Cooper. Got it. Wow. Off the bench. First bucket for the freshman from Long Beach. He's shooting 17% from three. But there's an answer for you. Rashad Khan, a 35% shooter at the arc. Oh. 24-23. able to draw the whistle on Kendrick his second that was a nice acting job by DJ Fenner right there the sophomore from Seattle team's leading scorer so far what he has shown me is a nice pull-up game he's got the ball fake and the one dribble stop gets on balance only one of four in this game but he's the leading scorer 12 and a half a game 80% from the free throw line. And we mentioned earlier, 35 of his last 37. Up that one. Doolin goes out. He's a senior. Played three years at San Francisco. He scored 1,000 points in his career. Over 450 assists. Playing his last year here with UNLV. And he's playing with a bunch of guys who don't have much experience. UNLV talented but extremely young starters and bench players. Freshman with the basketball passes to a freshman on the wing. There's a freshman at the top of the key and a freshman on the weak side. Wood wheels in the lane. Second try wouldn't go. Stevens on the rebound. Elbows out of the game and Stevens is still in the building. So uh, it is a one. Christian Wood, 69% at the stripe. So he gets the free throws. 
And possession here for UNLV as they retake the lead. Wood is extremely thin. And when he fills out and gains some muscle mass for Gabe Rice, he is going to be one heck of a player. He's a heck of a player now. They're still guarding one another right here, the two guys who were just involved. Fans are going to get into it on this issue. Papar with the ball, point guard, 6'6". Six, six. Can see over people. Oh, Morgan Strong. Wood couldn't tap it home. And Watts getting a taste of his own medicine. ULV stays with it. An offensive on the baseline on Morgan. And Wood got hammered in the process. Oh, smokes. Looks like we got a shot in the nose right here. Everybody's going after it. There's the shot right there. He got hit in the nose. The official on the baseline is on the other side, not on this side, so he couldn't see it. You can see the official in your screen. When you get hit in the nose, your eyes begin to water, and it's tough to see the ball. So Wood back to the bench. He's taking an elbow and a slap to the face. Morgan, the offensive foul. And Nevada's got it down one, four, 20 and a half. Five freshmen on the floor for UNLV. Mid-range, Stevens. And Wood on the bench, 27-26. against the zone, knocked away. This is an interesting time for UNLV. Lack of experience on the floor in a tense situation. They take a bad shot. Their defense at the other end was not good. I think Jay Bryce should get two with back in the game. Critical junction right here, no doubt about it. Golden is coming to the scorer's table. As is Kendrick, two most experienced players. I like what he's thinking. Shot clock down to 10 for Fenner. Here's Cooper with six. Elevates on a three and drills it. For a guy who is only shooting 17% from three-point range, Cooper has made two from that area. He's got and Nevada leads meeting number one this year by four. Now let's see what happens with the substitution of the two seniors into the game. Let's see if they get a good quality shot against this zone. Oh, they get a good play because they get fouled. The last two possessions with the inexperience, they made bad plays. So the substitution is working. Better and better. Their defense has been solid all year long. Offense is starting to come into play. 3-2 zone on the part of Nevada right here. They think the outside shooting of UNLV is not that good. So here's Doolin, played for the University of San Francisco last year, played against Nevada, and hung 33 on it. Underneath, turnaround, goes off the glass, Kendrick. And you notice it's a senior passing to a senior for the score right there. Experience matters a great deal in tense situations. Things have changed just in the last couple of possessions since they both came back in. West, good position, and one. He's a power player. You gotta stay between him and the basket. If you don't, you're gonna be in trouble. Good luck gets too much on the high side. And as a result, gives him a little bit of a lane. He's going to score when he gets it that close. So Okanobo picks up his first. McCaw to the bench. And it's West at the line. AJ's got six points in this game. He averages nearly 12 and nine rebounds. He's got four double-doubles this season, too, in his last three games, including 16 and 13 in that win over Air Force. Let's watch his free throw for him because he's not great from the free throw line. And he 
missed it. Oh, kind of he pulls the string a little bit on his shot. Lewin and Kendrick. Vaughn plays without the ball most of the time. Runs off screens and then goes when he gets it. Two to play in the half. The battle by four. Here comes Kendrick again. Tough shot. Knocked around and ripped down by West. You weren't lying about West defensively and on the glass. Yeah, he's a very aggressive player. He and Okonobo on each other right now. Two physical interior players. Cooper with 10. Got it. He loves that spot. He's made three from there in this game in the first half. That's unbelievable. You said it. He was 17% at the arc for the season. So much for that scouting report. <laughs> Drop down, baseline, good feed underneath, and the tone for Wood. Little post to post action there, nicely done. The two bigs found the seam in the zone. Under a minute to play, 35 30. Good ball came in the Mountain West. Glad you're up late with us tonight. Zone defense, first time for UNLV. Kendrick is long, number 22 at the top of the key. Stevens weaves in, blocks by Wood. Tulin runs. Open three. Kendrick left it short. Wood back up, no. Okanobo inside, blocked by West. Timeout, Nevada, leading by five. Shot clock. Wood, good luck, Okanobo. We advertise UNLV as the shot locking machine, but Nevada has four to go to UNLV's to go with their six here in this first half. With 13 seconds to play, final crack at it for the Wolfpack. Here's Fenner with six against Kendrick, and he traveled. So 3.8 now for the Rebels to work with. Yeah, that's a little bit of a mistake. Fenner has been solid the entire first half. Little mental error there. These are plays that you work on in practice. End of game, end of half. You want Doolin on the run. This is Kendrick at the buzzer. Look. And that's how this first half ends. Here at the Thomas and Mack Center. In so we begin the second half. The Wolfpack get the opening possession. Here's Perez knifing in. Blocked by Okonobo. Out of bounds in front of the Nevada bench in the road blues. Home whites for UNLV. Brent Stover, Bob Wenzel. Wednesday showcase here on CBS Sports Network. With Nevada trying to score an early season upset in the Mountain West and get to 2-0. UNLV trying to avoid falling to 0-2. Perez off the curl from 15, drains it. Nice execution. Coming off the curl like that, excellent basketball. If I'm David Carter, I'm thinking about getting Cooper in right now. The guy is hot, 3-for-3 three three from three-point range in the game. I would use him. Kendrick, the ball fake, the drive. Jalon Kendrick fouled on his way through. DJ Fenner picks it up. Well, a couple of things that have to happen here for UNLV in the second half. First of all, offensively, they've got to get untracked a little bit. Vaughn is a guy who needs to step up. Even though he's a freshman, he averages 17 a game. They need to get some clean shots for him. The defense on him has been good. Coleman is the guy, number one, who's done a job on him in the game. 6'4", long arms, you know, doing a good job. 37-30, Kendrick drops it down, and Okanobo traveled. And he got fouled. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was fouled before he traveled, uh, so they're going to go with that. And a foul on Fenner is second. Minute deep in this 
second half from Vegas. Conference game number two for both teams. Corner three off the mark from Ken Ruth. Here comes Nevada. No pressure on the ball on the outside. UNLV is allowing them to run their stuff. And offensive, rather a, a, a lane violation is what they call. Little travel, I think. 18 ball. a game for Vaughn. Leads the Mountain West, only five tonight. Neither team pressuring the point guard on the opposing team. So both teams can get the ball where they want to get it. Open look, Kenrick is off the mark and pulled down by West. A foul on UNLV. And Doolin picks it up. UNLV is not a great three-point shooting team when Vaughn is not in the game and not in his rhythm. Dave Rice has had a lot of three-point shooters in his time here. As a matter of fact, they hold the record for most threes since 1986-87 season when the three was first initiated. They made a three in every single game. And uh, it looked like they weren't in this game, but they made one already. So that is a big part of most teams' offense, and we haven't seen it for either team in this game. And because of that, that's a positive for Nevada. Stevens back in, Misa to the bench. Boy, they've got depth in the front court, don't they? You got it. Misa, Stevens, West. And Caleb Rodriguez, who started the first eight games of the season and now having trouble finding court time. All 6 9 are better. Yeah, Stevens misfired underneath. West working hard, but traveled. The effort of A.J. West has been phenomenal in this game. Really has. The effort at practice wasn't so great for Car Coach Carter. <laughs> but, uh, the effort in the game has been good. A couple of travels here because his feet land too close together. And when your feet are too close together, you're going to trip up. A wider base is necessary. The car is open in the middle. Oh, oh, look at that. Man, that is a terrific freshman to freshman move there. Three freshmen in the game for UNLV. Wood and Doolin. Fenner. In and out. Rebound by Fawn. Fawn. In and out of the hands of Okanobo. Passing is not one of his skill set. He's a scorer. Moves it without the ball. Good athlete. Knows how to play, but passing is not one of his best things. A lot more turnovers than assists on the year for him. Mountain West, preseason freshman of the year, and now the leading scorer as we've documented. It's been an off night so far, and he got two early fouls, which threw his rhythm off from the outset. West backs down, draws the double. And now Tulin's got his nose in there. And Wood gets the ball in timeout. Good hustle by everybody, both teams. UNLV gets the possession, but Nevada was hustling bit in there. It might have been a little bit more difficult because of his lack of size. They're keeping him in there. I think his touching the ball would be excellent for them. Right there. Continues to play that zone. Doolin, baseline up at Obo, and now a call in the middle. And couldn't finish. Yeah, but this is what you want. The two bigs are on the glass in that situation also. Doolin looks reticent to shoot to me. He wasn't ready on that last play at all. McCaw attacks and blocks by West, but it's goaltending. Brilliant stuff. We showed you how they were going to do it, and they're continuing to do it. Check this out. A 6'6 point guard. West blocks it, but that's a basket. Dave Carter might be wise to switch back to man to man because McCarr is hurting him in the middle of the zone. Tried showing some life here, 37 34. Fenner kicks, Perez raises up. Well, the Nevada says Doolin got a piece of that. That was way off. It certainly looked like somebody got a piece of it. 
I love the attendance in the crowd at UNLV, don't you? I mean, it's really, it's, when they get like 12,000, that's a bad crowd for them, right? The place holds 18, right? There's a lot of people here in this one. David Carter did the right thing. He went to man-to-man -man because that zone situation was hurting him. Foul on the way in, Ronnie Stevens. 37-34, Nevada at the under-16 second half in Vegas. Wyoming, UNLV, and New Mexico, I think, are possibilities. San Diego State, Colorado State have the best chance. And there are some players who are not playing in the league. And, of course, Dwayne Coley had that issue with San Diego State. That influences their offense big time. Colin Neal was out for the year for New Mexico. And they lost three star players last year. So the Mountain West, maybe not as good this year as they have been the last couple. Christian Wood. Well, and Anthony Tremick for Boise State. Boy, they would love to have him. He's out for the year. Well, that's 37-36 here to Thomas and Matt. Points in the pit, plus 10 to the Rebels. A.J. West trying to help that out a bit, and he does. He is a powerful guy close to the basket. Okanobo is really, you know, as a freshman, I think he's so used to being able to block everybody's shot. When he plays against some other big guys who are as athletic as him, his technique in the paint has to improve defensively. He lets West catch the ball too close to the basket. Wood gets fouled on the way in. Take a look at this. He just bounces him, hits him once or twice, takes him close into the basket. Notice how West is playing under the rim. That's a great leaper. And I think that uh, if Woodlock did a little bit better job of extending his arms, denying the pass in there, he could force West out a little higher. Gone. Eric Pass chased down by Cooper, who just checked in. He's got three threes. He's knocked down all three of his tries. And it's a timeout that he gets here. Thirty. <laughs> we can say, and without him, that makes it even more of a challenge. After the timeout, UNLV goes zone. Corner, short, and a three rebounded by Tulin. Cooper misfires for the first time tonight. Three for four from downtown for EJ. But I like the idea of changing defense during a timeout. Spinning and getting blocked with a goaltending. And count the bucket for a shot call. That's the first move that Vaughn has made. West made the uh, basket interference. But Vaughn, that's the most aggressive move that he's made all game. A spin move, driving to the basket, taking it hard. That's his game. Right here. That's two. Misa able to connect inside. And Nevada back up by three. The defense of Coleman on Vaughn has been good. Can you say Michael Carter Williams? 6'6 six, six, thin point guard? You got it. Freshman from St. Louis. 41 40. Better. Woods defends better to the rim and lost it. Out of bounds, last touched by Nevada. Fenner was going hard on that play, real hard. But he ran into the trees once he got about three feet away from the basket. The ball got loose. Second foul on Fenner. He's on the bench. Criswell in. He's their sixth man. A car. Woods scooped it up. Scores. Now that is a terrific play. A 6'11 player goes all the way to the floor and gets the ball up to the rim. That's a long distance. First lead in a while for UNLP. Now West gets fouled by Okanobo. His family from Nigeria. Good luck. This is 
first name. His dad is a cab driver when they first moved to America, Boston, and uh, was carrying some men, some some bad men, unfortunately, some robbers, and was shot. And they didn't know if he was going to make it. He did, and just a couple months later, Good Luck was born, and they named him Good Luck. Because, uh, just that. Wow. That's awesome. Coleman gets pumped to the baseline. Not exactly what we expected tonight. UNLV has not maybe played the type of game as we saw against KU last time out or in the win over Arizona or the win against Temple. They're going to have to battle and grind this one out tonight. No doubt about it. That Temple win is looking much, much better for them as Cornish comes in. As Temple beat Kansas. And of course, uh, that helps the RPI of UNLV. But, you know, it's it's this is a new experience for them, too. You know, playing on their home court in a close game. Cooper, long miss time. Two in the lines. Kicks in rhythm. McCall. No, no. That is not your game. The guy behind us just said that it was the right idea. <laughs> well, he's wrong. <laughs> You know, McCaw's a very good take-it-to-the-basket player. He's a good passer. He's got the long arms as a 6'6 point guard. But three-point shooting early in a possession is not his thing. He's only 28% from downtown on the year. One of eight now at the arc tonight for UNLV. Off the curve. Perez with the left. The freshman defense. Against West. And a push on AJ West, which gets us to the under 12. And Nevada leading UNLV on the road tonight by one. But I'm not sure that that really helps him either. For us, it, it takes him out of his rhythm in the game. We had a bit of a discrepancy earlier. Only two fouls, just to circle back on that. Two fouls for Paul. One shot on the top of the key, a freshman. Morgan, 15, a freshman. Paul, a freshman. Am I belaboring this point? <laughs> Keep going. We said they're a top five class. Cooper runs. Cooper pulls it. Way off. And now Cooper, after knocking down his first three threes, has missed three in a row. And the foul on, on Doolin. They're going to get Doolin for this one. Well, Doolin was trying to block out. He got underneath the man, much taller than him. Not a bad foul at all. Doesn't give up any points. They would have had a layup had he not done that. A couple of guys on this Nevada team, and probably we haven't talked about it tonight. Perez is one of them. He's got the ball here. That have kind of, have kind of an odd shooting motion, kind of a double clock. Chris Well, he's regular there, and the tapping goes down for Caleb Rodriguez. But it's interesting to me that there are three or four guys on the Wolfpack team. Yeah, and, and they're not long outside shooters because of that hitch that they had. 3 2 zone back again. I like the way Carter, when they were doing a good job, when UNLV was doing a good job, he switched out of it to man, and now he's going back to it. Keep changing up. Cornish. Spins out and a rebound for Wood. Got a lot of threes and dunks here tonight. Doolin got it. Finally, that's only their second three of the game. He's a guy who can do it early in the game. He was not ready to shoot at all. They've been in some close games. The Arizona game, four point game. Wyoming, five-point game. Weak side board. Stevens back up. And ripped down by Wood. I'm beginning to wonder whether the four-man rotation at the four and five spots for Nevada, bigger guys, is affecting UNLV's thin guys at those two positions. They are deeper than UNLV at that spot. At those spots. Stevens again. Putting the defenders to the extra step. Oh, 
So Stevens has been good in this game, but Wood has been better. He's got a double-double again, 14 points and 10 rebounds. That's his ninth double-double for Christian Wood. And you got to wonder whether uh, Dave Rice wants to get him out of the game at some juncture here. Going to need him at the end to be big and strong. That's the dilemma when you don't have a deep front court. Measures it. He likes that. And credit Doolin with the pass, throwing it backwards. That is a beautiful, beautiful looking shot. But at the other end, they fell asleep. And West got inside for the basket. How about the answer? I, Nevada has had answers all night. You're right. And uh, they didn't get upset. You know, the crowd was starting to get into it. He's got 10 and 10. That's his fifth double-double on the year. I'll tell you what, the bigs have really done their job in this one. 48-48. You mentioned earlier, Nevada swept UNLV last season. They were both 10 and 8 in the league last year. David Carter told us, I'm not sure it's a rivalry. It's been way too one-sided for my liking. Hey, Nevada gets three in a row. That starts to change the complexion. Vaughn now knocks one down. Three threes. Doolin, Wood, and Vaughn. The guys you would expect to be stepping up are stepping up. Perez, pick and roll, West. And Wood clears. Thought about <laughs> it. Don't think so. Doolin's trying to set them up right now. Very verbal ball handling leader is number 45. The shot on blocks and fouled on the three by Coleman. Well, Coleman's done a good job in this game up until this juncture. Vaughn. Right now we're seeing the player that leads the lead. He's made a three. He's fouled when he makes the three. He's, hopefully he'll make his third here for UNLV fans. This is the largest lead of the game. I am impressed with Vaughn's play in the last couple of minutes. David Carter told his team that Vaughn is not going to pass much, and we're going to do our best to stay on him at all times. Right now, we're seeing the player that leads the lead. He's made a three. He's fouled when he makes the three. He's, hopefully, he'll make his third here for UNLV fans. This is the largest lead of the game now for UNLV. It's six. Zone defense, Brent. Cooper was the main guy in the first half, but as you mentioned, he went cold from three. Coleman. Coleman! Colin has it. Tulin ends up with it. Again, the zone defense keeps your bigs close to the basket. That would have been a layup against man. Instead, it's a half block shot against zone. Wood defended by Stevens and now Vaughn against Perez. Vaughn to the rim, ripped down by Stevens. He's trying to do a lot right now, but as I said, I think Rice is going to let him go. Perez can't convert. And Wood. Morgan is feeling it right now. He doesn't play a lot of minutes, only 12 minutes a game, number 15. He is dragging. Morgan 
spins, blocked West for judgment by the freshman. West is just waiting for him in there. He doesn't have his legs. You wonder about maybe Wood guarding West instead of open elbow late in the game. Wood is taller. I think he's a better defensive player. Wood just got his 13th rebound. Season high is 14. It'll stay at this end with the running Rebels as Cooper checks back in. Perez to the bench. Cooper was hot early in the game. Second half, not so much. Maybe they're hoping he can get hot again. Good. Free space underneath. West able to change his shot. Coleman to the rim. And Coleman to the line. Credit West on that, Brent. I mean, he did a terrific job. That was going to be an easy layup by Wood. This was a good pass. And then on the retreat, both guys foul him. Coleman did a good job slicing between Doolin and Vaughn. Vaughn just picked up his third. Over a 76% foul shooter. Now, a lot can happen in eight seconds. Don't miss as the world's top riders and baddest bulls hit the dirt on CBS Sports Network. More of the 2015 season, the PBR Built for Tough Series in Chicago. Saturday, 10.30 Eastern only on the CBS Sports Network. Coleman short. We got a violation. Guys went in too soon. And I think it was McCaw. I don't think it was Wood. I think it was McCaw with the headband. He entered the lane before the shot. And you talked about the hitch in some of the players' shots. I think there was a hitch in this shot, and that's why he stepped in early. See that hitch? They've got at least four guys that I count in the yeah. shooter round. That's what, you know, Coach Carter said. I, there's not much you can do to change it during the season. You don't want it to become mental. No, exactly. And, of course, the good part about the hitch is it doesn't affect your defense. Right. 54-49, <laughs> remaining. Last time he was here, he got fouled. Vaughn against Coleman. Ten to shoot. Doolin. Knocked out. Five on the shot clock. Five is plenty of time to shoot. Pass to Vaughn. Let him go on his own. Doolin. McCall. And here comes Nevada down five. Not the right shot. Right back to Coleman. Blocked by Morgan. And he kind of got hammered. Nevada keeps possession and calls timeout. Well, right there, we has blocked three that were goaltending calls. <laughs> so on the timeout, five to play. UNLV by five. Cooper. Made threes by Cooper were fool's gold in the first half. He got overconfident. Kendrick draws the bump. I like the fact that Dave Rice has both Doolin and McCaw in the game at the same time. Two point guards, so your ball handling should improve. Take a look at this spin move. He gets whacked. He's fouled right there. Hendrick, an experienced player. Didn't start last year, but uh, played a lot of minutes for Dave Rice. First free throw miss of the night for UNLV. 10 of 11. UNLV won 20 games last year, but didn't make it to the postseason. Now, this is the time where freshmen have to learn to stay in front of their man and not gamble on defense. For Nevada, quality shot, very, very important at this juncture. Maybe get West to touch close in. Center, the left. West, back up. Talk about West close in, huh? I mean, that is the game. He's having a very, very good team game against a very tough team inside. 
13 points, 13 boards now for West. Wow. So he and Wood each have double doubles tonight. Kenrick goes to work. Offensive. UNLV is out of sorts on offense. They're not running anything. The reason they got the lead was they made threes. Right here, too much traffic. Nice defense right here. This is terrific step in off the ball. Nicely done by Cooper. Third foul, so he sits down. UNLV needs to learn how to get quality shots at this juncture of a game. They haven't shown it in this game at all. Dresswell knocks it down. Double pump or not, he connects. <laughs> Line drive. I call it double pump. Really, it's a hitch in the shot. Either way, it's a one-point game now. Timeout, Dave Rice. Worth mentioning. Point game. It's been low scoring because of all the shot blocks in the game. <laughs> Wood. This is a better set here. Strips. Cooper. On the help side. Timeout. What a play by Cooper. No. 54 as we come down the stretch. They're trying to post Dooley because he's the smallest player on the floor. Chris Webb. Again. Blocked by Wood. West. Back up. Three times and gets it home. This guy has been relentless tonight. Stick to itiveness is a virtue. When you Again, big swat kept in by UNLV. So the car is smart. He knows he doesn't want to shoot from over there. But he's got to take it into the lane and do something here. Clocked it in for Okanova. It never got there thanks to the defense by West. Then a shit by Doolin. Wow, what a play by Doolin. The crowd's got to love that. Some of the defensive plays down the stretch in this game. Doolin looks tired. He's resting in the far right corner. He wants McCaw, McCaw to handle the ball a little bit. Come on. Foul. 157 to play. Nevada leading UNLV by one. Well, your guy, Mr. West. He just picked up his third foul, so Vaughn at the line for two. the way Vaughn looks down instead of focusing his vision on the on the basket in his free throws. Watch him look down. See how he looks down here? Looks down. He's still looking down, and then he just gets a glance at the bucket. Now, he made two there, but he's only 61% on the year. He'd be better served if his vision was on the goal instead. UNLV has outscored him 27-21 since halftime. And they lead by one. Criswell is trying to post Doolin. Wood. Foul on the floor on UNLV. Wow. Well, with a minute and 38 to go, we're going to get a lot more possessions, and they're all going to be like this. Everybody gets their hands on the ball right here, and I don't know how you call a foul on which guy in that situation. That's just everybody going after the ball. Griswell is so much bigger than Doolin. He's trying to take advantage of him by posting up and then crashing the boards. Tie game. 138 remaining. It'll be interesting to see which team switches to a zone at what juncture with this much time left in the game. Or either. Two big ones for Criswell to give him the lead back. They are playing with poise. Wednesday showcase here on CBS Sports Network. From the Thomas and Max Center. Vaughn brings up a three. You have to be kidding me. 
One pass and jacket. Adrenaline in the building? Oh my goodness! 53 seconds to play in the battle by one. Vaughn! In and out. Twistwell clears. Two second difference. Kane and shot as we wind it down. Got a foul. They will send Coleman, a 76% foul shooter, to the line. And Coleman here tonight, one of two at the strike. Vaughn, after one pass, deep three. And what about Nevada? They've got an answer. Cooper, confident. Nothing but the bottom of the net for that guy. A two point edge with 30.5 to play. Well, they are making their free throws. Nevada now 11 of 13 at the strike tonight. Timeout UNLV. We got to try to ice there. Lane violation. West violated. First mental error in the game for AJ. Big deal. Big, big deal. So it's a two-point Nevada lead. UNLV's got it with 28 seconds to play. Wood needs a touch. Doolin with 20 seconds. In and out of the hands of Vaughn. Gets attacked. 15 ticks. Vaughn traveled. No. He gets fouled first by Vaughn. Uh, rather by Criswell. There have been several plays. Let's take a look. He's a little out of control right here. Losing the ball on the bounce. But he, uh, he got fouled there early in that possession. How about the block by the West coming over? Yeah. Now, AJ's, AJ's miscue at the free throw line at the other end when he went in too soon is really a very, very big play in this game. Because had that shot been made, it would have changed the entire complexion at this end of the floor. It's a one and one for Vaughn, trailing by two. Funny. That ball didn't even hit the rim. All net. This one for the top. remaining at a timeout. Deadlocked at 62, 13.6. Nevada with a chance to win it right here in regulation. Coleman pulls it. Got it. 4.8. No timeouts. UNLV down two. One second. Run. Nevada wins on the road.